This is one of multiple videos discussing the troubleshooting of RIP or Routing Information Protocol. In this topology, we've been told that Router 1 is not able to ping the loopback of Router 4. So let's uh, verify that. Enable ping 4.4.4.4. It looks like the pings are failing. So we've been given correct information that the network is not working. So now let's troubleshoot. Show IP route. We can see that we are receiving a RIP route from a router 10.1.1.2 via gigabit 00. So we are receiving information about network 2.0.0.0 from router 2. So this is the loopback of router 2 per our topology. And we can ping the loopback of router 2. Show IP protocols shows us that we are running the RIP routing protocol on the local router. And we are routing for these two networks, the loopback of router 1 and RIP is enabled on the gigabit zero interface. And we've received routes from 10.1.1.2, which again we can see in the routing table. Notice, however, that we don't see 4.4.4.4 in the routing table. We do see this network, 10.1.2.0. So can we ping 10.1.2.1? Yes, we can. In other words, we can get to this network on router two. I'm gonna turn off IP domain lookup to speed up trace route. And then I'm gonna trace to quadruple four. This is just to show you that trace route can be used. But in this case, it's actually not even gonna leave the local router because we don't have a gateway of last resort set and network four does not appear in the routing table. So the local router doesn't even know where to forward the packet. We can see that by using the command debug IP packet and doing the trace again. Notice we see in the output that the packet is unroutable. The local router doesn't know where to forward the packet. So I'll turn off debugging on router one. Let's have a look at router two. Show IP protocols verifies that RIP is running on the local router. Network two and network 10 are being advertised by this router we only see one gateway. In other words, we are only receiving routing information from router one. We don't see routing information from router two. Let's do a debug. Remember this debug. Debug IP RIP, and I'll just hit enter here. We're seeing that the local router is sending out a RIP version two update to the loopback using the well-known multicast address for RIP. 224009. We see it sending out an update via gigabit 01. We're receiving a update on gigabit 00, but notice this output. Ignored version 2 update from bad source 10131 on gigabit 01. Here's some more debugs. Can you see the problem in this debug? Notice here, RIP ignored a version two update from a bad source, 10131 on gigabit 01. It ignored an update from itself on the loopback, that would be correct. But we are receiving updates on gigabit 01. Gigabit 01 on router two is configured with an IP address of 10121 per our diagram, and router three should be configured with this IP address. 10.1.2.2. So let's verify IP addresses. Show IP interface brief. This IP address is configured on gigabit 01. That looks right. And we'll just confirm the details using a show run. That looks good. On router three, show IP interface brief. Interface gigabit 01 is configured with an IP address of 10122, and gigabit 00 is configured with this IP address. That's not correct per our diagram. So let's change that. No IP address on the gigabit 00 interface, and no IP address on the gigabit 01 interface. 
Go back to gigabit 00, IP address 10.1.2.2. Gigabit 01, IP address 10.1.3.1. Ping 10.1.2.1. Ping works. Show IP route. We've now learnt about network 10.1.3.0 from 10.1.2.2. So it looks like it's now working. If I do a debug, we should see that we're receiving updates from router 3 and no longer getting a error on the debug. But while we're waiting for that, show IP route on router 1. We're getting network 10.1.3.0 in the routing table. So we should be able to ping 10.1.3.1, which we can. And we can ping 10.1.3.2. Can we ping the loopback of router 4? Yes, we can. So we've successfully solved the problem. In the debug, notice we are now seeing an update received on gigabit 00 and on gigabit 01. The local router is learning the routes from both neighbors. Show IP RIP database allows us to see the routes in the RIP database. We can see as an example that network four is in the RIP database. And I'll just pause this debug. We also see the loopback of router three. We see the loopback of router one. So as an example, we can ping the loopback of router one, of router two, which is ourselves, router three, and router four. So we've successfully solved the problem in this network. RIP routers need to be in the same subnet for them to exchange routes with one another. In this example, the IP addresses on gigabit 00 and 01 were swapped around. So router three updates were being ignored by router two. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.